Hello everyone, and welcome to another one of my vlogs, uh, for want of a better part. Um, just a little interesting thing I've picked up um, over the weekend. Uh, you remember I did a review on Bludgeon, the G2, well, not G2, well, he's modelled on G2 Megatron, but he's the RID version of him. Now, this was the first one I've got on the and got it a few weeks ago, which in a weird twist of fate, when I was away at the weekend, I picked up this. Now as you can see it's not exactly G2 Ultra and it's not exactly RID bludgeon. Um, what it turns out it is of all weird places I was out shopping with my fiance and we happened to go into a um, cake decorating shop for the better explanation of it and this is apparently a cake decoration now it's made in China um, I'll take the price off this before I start showing you it in a bit more detail as you can see it is pretty much the same as the G2 Megatron um, obviously it hasn't got the air powered cannon on the sort of like as the main gun and there is a couple of little subtle changes to it. First of all, which I'll show you, which I find amusing, is it's got a sort of like a big mouth in the front of the tank with a little grey tongue that's showing up, which I find bizarre for whatever reason. Um, the transformation, and I'll try and get it in the camera, is exactly the same, pulling out the sides of the tank, sliding the gun over. Um, bringing down the lower half of the torso and flipping up the head but this is where things change because although the arms are pretty much the same as Megatron Door Bludgeons um, there are moulding differences the, for one thing anyway you don't get any other extra weaponry or any other bits like that so you don't get a smaller gun even though he has got holes I don't know if they're going to kick the up at all but he has got holes in the fist to hold a smaller gun and it might be that he'd even hold Bludgeon's gun I'll try that in a minute um, as you can see that is not Megatron's face so they've done a complete re-head sculpt and rather than where this back part would flip round to become the legs, which I'll bring Bludgeon in as a comparison in a minute, you just pull it down and it's got black feet what flip out from the bottom. So all intents and purposes this is a Chinese knockoff of Bludgeon and Megatron. Now I'm going to move the camera in a sec so you can see them both on the table um, and that way you'll get a better view of them. Just pop him down and here we go, let's just move it a second. And there we go. Now, as you can see, both pretty much the same size. There are moulding differences, obviously, apart from the face. You've got moulding differences on the top of the tank there, with like little lights at the front of the tank for bludgeon, which aren't on there. Um, you haven't got the arm clips for the weapons, for the um, air-powered rockets on this toy. Um, obviously Bludgeon's fists are actually a solid moulding where these are actually done like a G1 figure where they slide out on the post and obviously as I said the legs are effectively backwards because where Bludgeon's are separately and can be posed separately these are done a bit more like a G1 combiner where you just pull out a section of legs and flip out feet so not completely the same but a pretty good knockoff copy of a G sort of one-ish well G2 um, RID figure really um, it's pretty his gun doesn't do something which is a little bit of a shame but uh, yeah all round it's quite a nice little figure but I couldn't believe it because well I've been out shopping the usual thing being sort of like taken around the shops by your other half and you think oh, nothing really interesting here and then I saw this thing sat on the shelf and thought Surely that's not like a G2 Megatron 
in a cake shop. Um, but there you go. So that you can pick up stuff in the weirdest of places. Um, it was only about seven quid, so not too expensive. I mean, if I transform him back to his tank mode, you're going to see he's pretty much the same. I'll show it. will show a few more of the differences up. I mean, actual build quality is pretty good. He's, you know, on a car with anything sort of G1 and G2. Um, like I say, transform the bludgeon, you've got to flip it, his back section round like so, but uh, yeah, a lot of similarity, obviously they've ripped off the mould to create this figure, but uh, such a strange thing to find when you're out shopping like that. Um, Excuse me while I just finish this off. That's it. He's a bit of a pain to get those legs swung around. But there you go. Other than the weapons side of things, pretty much are much the same. More or less the same dimensions. A little bit of difference, like I say, on the front moulding there. The fact that uh, bludgeons like mud flaps stick out further than that. But, and obviously similar mouldings but not quite the same on the back because obviously he's got feet folded in on the top there where bludgeon doesn't because of the legs being the other way. Um, and of course where bludgeon had a hole for the smaller gun he obviously hasn't got that. So he's got some slightly different moulding details around it. Um, I'd imagine that's too big I will just try it in his hand. I imagine Bludgeon's gun is too big for there, but I might be wrong. No, it's just a little bit tiny, tiny bit too tight for there, which is a shame, otherwise, you could have borrowed that weapon. But uh, yeah, what a strange little thing to pick up. It's uh, a genuine, I don't know if it's licensed knockoff, but uh, certainly a weird little thing. Um, I just thought I'd show you what I picked up. That is quite an unusual little find. Um, so maybe we should all start hunting around in baking shops to find bits. Who knows? Um, I'll see you again for another review. And uh, all the best.